Let's start, if I may, by talking about this plan for humanitarian islands, they're called, humanitarian zones, centre of the Gaza Strip. Just in principle, what do you think of that as an idea? You know, there is a saying in American politics, if you cannot convince them, confuse them. So what they are doing now, they are confusing basically the global uh, and the public uh, and all and everywhere in this world. Um, this project costs around $35 million. It needs 60 days to uh, be be uh, um, built. Uh, however, as you uh, shown in, in, in your, on the map, that there are seven already cross points ready uh, open. They need two things. One, they need trucks to go in and they need security inside Gaza to make sure that uh, those um, uh, aid can go to the right people in the right time and make sure that the roads are open and other logist logistic things. Um, it is very interesting to talk about this uh, project considering the fact that it needs 60 days according to the American and the Europeans. And if you do a very simple calculation considering the um, average killing and um, uh, injured every day in Gaza, by building, uh, by ending this project, there will be around 15,000 um, uh, uh, Palestinian in Gaza um, will be killed, and more than uh, 28,000 uh, Palestinian will be injured. So that is that's a very, 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 um, uh, um, I would say, disappointing project, considering also the fact that it came after 30, 30, 31,000 Palestinians were killed and around 70 plus thousand Palestinians were injured. Um, and I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure that where this will lead the situation in Gaza uh, um, after all of this killing. Uh, gosh, I'm, I'm trying not to be cynical, but when you look at the facts, it's kind of hard to not be. If, if you look at the fact that Israel said to a million plus Palestinians, go to Rafah, that's your safe place. Palestinians have still died there. Now they're saying, go somewhere else where you already were, some of you at some point, you'll be safe there. But Palestinians surely are gonna look around and say, well, some of us are dying in the Rafa. Um, aid workers are being killed. People queuing up to get food are being killed. Why would they believe that they would be safe anywhere? There was no safe. From day one, uh, they said those people in Gaza, uh, 2.4 people, they are, uh, 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 um, an animal. They are. They called uh, human animals. They called them. Uh, they, uh, the minister of uh, of war in Israel, said that they no food, no water, no electricity. He, he, and his team. They defined this kind of situation. Uh, there is no way can one accept any kind of re reaction from them. They already demonized those people. They dehumanized them, and now they they debate about very silly things. Um, and all of those, um, you know, uh, argument about, you know, uh, areas are safe. Everyone knows it's a big lie. Uh, everyone knows that it's conf confusing the Palestinian more and more so they can kill as they wish. Um, there is no doubt that um, no place safe in Gaza, uh, no place people they can live. Those who cannot be killed by the bombardment, they will be killed by uh, uh, starvation. So um, every place in Gaza basically says, uh, but the, the, the death is, is existing there. So regardless of what, what will happen to them. It seems like I might not be the only one who's becoming cynical. The EU's foreign policy chief, Joseph Farrell, has, has come out and said that Israel is weaponizing food. Um, if, I mean, if even he says that, how is it that democratic nations have taken more than five months to do something to help with that food crisis? My friend, it's a cultural issue. We, we, uh, people that say the politics, I see it as a cultural issue. They demonize the Palestinians, they look at them as evil, and they, they did not see, they did not allow themselves in the West, in the United States, to see what's happening as a human crisis. And as long as this culture exists, it will be short-term change. What the West, what the European, even Borrell, by the way, there is a very interesting comment by, by, by a journalist. This Borrell has become very brave in Israel because he's finishing his term uh, in, in EU. So he becomes, he, he, he started to criticize Israel. If he lost his position, he would not be tough as he has, as he now. So it's, it's a cultural issue. They need to stop demonizing the Palestinian in Gaza. And they have to look at it from one major fact perspective. This this area is an occupied 
by the Israelis. Israelis obliged by international law to get food, to get water, to get medicine into Gaza. And if they haven't done this, they are basically contributing to the genocide. That is the fact. International law says this. If they don't want to accept international law, it's better to close all of international law departments and all universities, and we go to the law where basically who has the power, he can impose his rules. Majub, thank you so much for your time and your thoughts. My, My guest, Majub Zafari, professor at Qatar University.